Not only do we need to correct our thoughts, but we must also go further and actually crucify the old natural mind and receive an entirely new mind in Christ. The sanctification of the spirit is not the improvement of the old natural spirit, but a renouncing of it and the receiving of God's Holy Spirit instead. So the sanctification of our mind must be just as radical. We must recognize that our natural mind, our natural way of, of thinking uh, uh, after sin in the garden is wrong and must be laid totally down and we receive the mind of Christ instead. The ability to think and have powerful thoughts is a gift from God. But like so many of the gifts we have from God, the forces of darkness can manipulate them to become negative as opposed to its original intent, which is to be positive. Genesis chapter 2 verses 15 to 17 states, Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may eat freely, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Every human being requires some degree of training and development in our functions and abilities, from walking and speaking to reasoning and calculating. Often this training, development, and testing appears in our lives through challenges, problems, and conflicts. When God placed the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the Garden of Eden, he was setting the stage for conflict for Adam and Eve. This conflict was taking place in their minds. Adam and Eve rejected God's word in favor of the serpent's counsel first in their minds in their thinking. Then they acted upon their thinking and they advanced to committing personal sins of the highest treason. 